Hey everyone, I uh, just want to make a quick filler video here since I'm kind of waiting for my uh, red, blue, white LED versus white LED video to kind of complete, which is kind of uh, getting towards the end. I'm not sure exactly how much longer I'm going to let it grow, but it's coming along. But anyways, I wanted to kind of introduce uh, this, uh, I don't know, collection of bonsai trees, if you will. Um, recently, I guess, or semi-recently, I guess, I kind of got into the art of bonsai. Uh, I just kind of fell into it. And it started with this lemon tree here. This is actually a Meyer lemon tree. Um, and it came from, you know, the supermarket. And I uh, started it from seed out of one of the seeds from the uh, lemons. But as I guess, I guess Meyer lemon is actually a hybrid. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I think when you actually grow a lemon from a, from a seed, or grow a lemon tree from a seed, that you get from a superstore supermarket, it's gonna actually produce um, a different kind of lemon. Uh, it's not as large because they're hybrids. Uh, and that goes for some other uh, varieties of fruit and things like that. Uh, anyways, I don't wanna talk too much about uh, science and detail about all this. I kinda just wanna introduce what, I'm, what I've got growing here. So if anyone on this channel is interested in following along with any of this or has any comments or questions or information to help me along with this because I don't know everything. Um, I'll start off with this. This is this tree here is uh, it's two years old now. I started this from seed two years ago and I'll I'll kind of throw a, a picture up of, of this from its front view but uh, down here we got some new grows and I've cut this back looking right here. This used to be the main trunk right here uh, and this was about the whole thing is about four feet tall uh, it was getting pretty big. It was being grown in a a eight inch um, starter pot, just a plastic pot, like I guess you know before you plant something in the ground. And uh, it was growing there for the entire time in that same pot. It started becoming root bound, started getting pretty tall and needing to be watered a lot more. And I decided it was time to do something with it. And I attempted to take a cutting from this and root it, which I it did root, and I planted it outside. As soon as the first frost hit, uh, it was pretty much dead. And that was after being in the ground for the summer. So it had established enough. And it, so basically a lemon tree isn't gonna survive around here in this climate, Northeast Ohio. So I decided to bonsai it. I cut the main trunk down. I kept the two branches and I cut back and I kept some stuff, but I cut back a lot. And most of what you're seeing here is actually all new growth. All these branches here this one, this one, every, pretty much everything you see here, that, that's all new, that's what grew back. And uh, I root pruned it like crazy and just kept the radial roots. So this tree here uh, is doing pretty well. I, I kind of like the shape that it's taking. It's, so, it's still got a long way to go as far as pruning it back and everything. And um, I, I think it takes maybe three years or so before it actually starts to produce fruit. So maybe one day we'll see that. Maybe I'll post a video in the future of that. Uh, over here is a coastal redwood tree. Uh, I don't remember the exact name of the, the species. I'll, I'll throw it up in the video here. But this is the tallest tree in the world. Well, this isn't, but the tallest species in the world that grows to 300 feet tall or even taller. Um, this was, this whole thing, it was six feet tall. And I was planning on attempting to plant this outside and this is kind of how I was talking about how I just kind of transitioned into bonsai. Uh, because after I did this, I started to kind of like bonsai and things. Um, and the redwood tree here, I guess they're cold tolerant to zero degrees Fahrenheit. And that's it. And I was going to try to plant it outside and protect it for a while over the winter and see how it does. But... Then I thought about more, and it's like it's just fighting a losing battle. So I decided to also bonsai this. These bonsai very easily because if you look, I'll try to get some here. Everywhere there's branch nodes, and all along the trunk where there was leaves, there are branch buds all over it, all the way down to the bottom, down to the base of the tree. I know it's just hard to see, um, but there is little buds all over it, and. These trees here have been uh, evolving over uh, thousands and thousands of years, and they've adapted to pretty much any soil condition. 
and uh, you can pretty much plant them in any kind of soil and they'll grow very well. They're resistant to insects like crazy because of the tannins in their, in their wooden bark. Um, and if they break in half or, or if part of the tree breaks, it grows back, uh, it grows a new trunk. Um, they're very well adapted to damage. So they bonsai very easily. So I cut this off at an angle here. I kept these lower branches and um, I'm going to continue to let it fill out and prune back and fill out. So I'm going to have a nice tree. How, having said that though, even though they bonsai easily, it doesn't mean they really bonsai well, meaning that it's hard to, to give them a shape. Uh, a lot of people will bonsai trees so that they look like their natural form, just smaller. And this is kind of one of those trees that's difficult to do that with. Um, you can let stuff grow out and fill out, but you're really not going to get that 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 full full grown tree shape in a small form factor like this. Uh, it just it doesn't really work out well because of the nature of the way it grows with these long branches and leaves and everything. Um, you can make it grow into a shape uh, and make it look decent, but it just it's not going to look the same as you would expect. Like the lemon tree here, you can make this look like a miniature tree that you know the trunk and everything and the bark and the leaves you can make it look like a small tree uh, a smaller version of its normal size to where this one you can't quite do that well, there are some pictures online if you look you might see some that are decent but a lot of those aren't actually the, the actual redwood tree they're actually um, a different species made to look like a giant redwood but, a, if, but bonsai so anyways, moving on over here, uh, this is a ficus. I'm not actually sure what particular type of ficus this is. Um, and it, this, I just cut this back. It used to look better. As a matter of fact, let me pull this out down here. Uh, this was part of the top, which I decided to cut off and root. So that's a cutting. I'm going to make another tree out of it. And I think what I actually might do with this is put it right on top here. Uh, wrap it on there and build up a build up a soil base around the whole thing so the roots will hang down and I'll get some aerial, aerial roots growing and the tree will then uh, basically attach itself to this and uh, make it one tree again but that's for future but anyways um the ficus tree here I got from somebody as a gift and I hadn't had any bonsai trees before this I put this in my windowsill in my bay window thinking it would have enough light. And this thing started, it actually used to have a, tr a trunk that went out here in kind of like an S shape, I guess, or an elbow. And the main part was actually up here and, and larger. That slowly, slowly died back. And I wasn't sure why. Um, I know these trees are kind of picky when it comes to certain things and conditions, but I thought it had enough light and it did not have enough light. The whole thing died back, it never came back to life. I cut it off. And there was this was a tiny, tiny little branch about this size. And this became the main trunk and that's where I cut it off because I'm gonna reshape the whole thing. Um, so I got some other roots down here. You know, some nice looking roots that are, you know, branching off of the main trunk, which I'm hoping to get more of later on. Um, but this tree has a long way to grow. But mainly what I kind of want to talk about with this tree is was the lighting. As soon as I put it under this light, and normally I wouldn't use like a red-blue light for this, uh, but I, I put it over top of that, and that's all that it needed. As soon as I did that, it grew very well, and that's why I had to trim it back. And this here, this was not the whole part of it. I actually cut a lot. I topped off a lot of, uh, or I cropped back a lot of branches that were growing off of this to... to to try to root this, and this was larger. But as soon as I put it under the light, it grew so much better, um, came back to life, started repairing itself. I didn't want to cut it back until it was in a healthier shape. Um, but this type of tree, this uh, ficus trees, are a certain type of thing where you can cut it off completely and it will grow new uh, growth out of the, just out of the root. So that's safe to do. Um, and you could probably almost do the same thing with a redwood. I don't know about a, a a lemon tree though that may not work out well unless it has nodes already down here um, that are ready to go 
But other than that, I think if you cut that off completely, it would be, it would be done. And then, of course, these here, I just started these. These are um, Christmas cactus clippings. Uh, some of these were are from an already, or these are all from an already established plant that was growing in a pot, or actually a bunch of plants in one pot. And this is, these have nice, thick, uh, rigid trunks kind of starting here. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna root these, and I'm gonna try to make bonsais out of each one of these. One of these, I don't know which ones. One of these is is a red color flower, and the other one's kind of a fuchsia, or, or salmon or pink color. And I kind of want the red ones, so I'm gonna let them grow, and then probably give away the others. Uh, and then this over here is just a sago palm. I'm trying to fix it up, and I'll, I don't even want to talk about that. But anyways, yeah, um, the lighting I have it under here, these are just sansy bulbs. Uh, and this lemon tree was growing under just this sansy bulb, and this is only 15 watts. And keeping it at that proximity, which is about a foot or so, uh, it's been doing very nicely. Um, the other one here is just, it's a 50 watt uh, lighting ever. It's just a floodlight to kind of give it a broadcast, 6,000K, 6, just to give it a broadcast over all these. And this here I just have for supplemental lighting. It's not that close to this. It's, it's pretty far away, but it's just giving it the added benefit of extra light uh, in, the, in the spectrum that they like. So it's not, this by no means by itself is a, a good bulb to use for a lot of plants, but uh, it does work pretty well for already established plants like bonsai trees. Uh, I just prefer using mostly white light. I just had this one here, and I figured I'd throw it in. So, just to test it out. And it seems to be working pretty well. So anyways, this video is getting pretty long already. I thought it would kind of introduce the bonsai trees here that I got going. And I got more house plants uh, in my upstairs, and I kind of started doing that with as well. But these are the main ones I wanted to show. In case anyone was interested, or anyone has the information for me that could help me out, maybe that I don't know. So, that's it for this video. Uh, I'll post a link for the... Uh, I'll post a link for the Sansy lights if you're interested in, interest in, interested in those, uh, and a link for the Lighting Ever light here if you're just interested in that, if you're just getting into uh, home growing stuff, I guess. Um, and then also a link for the red, blue, white LED uh, video that I did. It's just an intro video kind of explaining what I'm doing with that. Also put that in a link in the video description. So uh, that wraps it up here. Thank you for watching.